Hello, uh, in this video I will show you how to modify and implement Dynamic Combat System. So this is a newly created third person project based on blueprints and it has a Dynamic Combat System in it. So first of all uh, you need to enable Environmental Querying System because AI is using it. So go to Editor Preferences, Experimental and under AI. Just check the, this box. Ok, now we can remove this guy. Let's drag and drop a combat character. Ok, now let's add nav mesh pounds volume to the level. Okay, and drag and drop patrol path so AI will be moving towards spline line we create. Okay, and in example character there is example AI, it's included in the pack. And in default settings it, there is patrol section. So let's just select the patrol path we just created. Now we can drag and drop our player and test it. Ok, so now as you can see we can select our target, we can attack him, ok, we can block. The problem you may notice is that uh, our camera is blocked by this AI. And to fix that we need to go to project settings, collision and for pound, which is capsule, uh, just select to ignore camera, but instead block visibility channel. And do that the same for uh, character mesh and ragdoll. Ok, now when, we, when I hit play, as you can see my camera is no longer blocked by this character. Ok, now let's take a look at combat character. So there are all inputs used by player and you may notice that keys, action keys are actually hard coded. So for example roll is under spacebar, jump is under spacebar plus shift. So you, what you will probably want to do is to use action mappings. So go to project settings, uh, input. There is actually jump by default added. I just uh, select shift and add roll, which is under spacebar. Ok, and now just replace them. So for roll, we we'll use roll action. For jump, use jump action. And you probably should do that for the rest, like a light attack, heavy attack, targeting system, and the rest. And for uh, uh, axis mappings, I'm using same nas names as in uh, default third person project. But if your uh, events are called differently, you may get warnings here and you will just need to replace them. So, for example, if you're uh, move forward is called differently, for example move F, you will get a warning here, so just replace it and everything should work fine then. So I can still roll, jump, Uh, so this pack comes with default Unreal Engine Mannequin and all animations are binded to it. But if you already have your own mesh which is also using Unreal Engine Skeleton I will show you how to retarget all the animations uh, to your skeleton. So for example third person project comes with Mannequin also. So first of all let's open uh, third person Mannequin 
and from combat system uh, type socket and let's select all the sockets copy them and paste them into the uh, different skeleton and now when I type socket you may notice that this zero is added at the end of name so let's just remove it and if you are using a uh, different mesh you may want to adjust locations of the sockets okay and now after those steps we can just select the character folder inside dynamic combat system and delete it okay don't worry about that we will fix that all Okay, and now all the animations used in Dynamic Combat System system are in this folder. So just select in filters animation and select all of them and then set select retarget anim assets and pick the skeleton which is in third person project. Click retarget. Okay, now let's also select player folder because there are uh, montages do the same for that okay do the same for animation blueprint and also for AI so there are also montages and animation blueprint okay and now since we deleted the old mesh our player and AI are without mesh so let's fix that go to AI example character and select new mesh okay and all sockets fits already so do the same for player Okay, now when I play, my animation still works fine. AI is also working fine. Now, if you already have your character blueprint and you don't want to replace it with combat character, I provided in this pack. Uh, you can just inherit from it. So let me show you how to do it. Uh, for example, in third person project, there is third person character blueprint uh, so let's just reparent it combat character okay we, we don't need those inputs so we can remove it we also ain't gonna need those variables and camera movement uh, follow camera because uh, we got this from combat character Okay, let's also change animation blueprint and auto possess player. Okay, and now we can drag and drop it into the level and see if it works. So, as you can see, it works fine. Oh, let's see if we can attack. Okay, uh, in this part I will show you how to replace animations. So if you have different anim set or maybe you bought some higher quality animations from Marketplace, let me show you how to change them. So here I have some animations from Dynamic Sword anim set. And first of all let's open it and enable road motion. Now let's create an anim montage from this one. Okay, change default uh, slot to full body. And at the beginning of animation, we need to add ignore root motion uh, notify. It will allow us our character to uh, turn around while attacking. And since this character is moving while attacking, uh, let's set add movement scale value to one. At the end of animation, we need to set uh, ignore root motion at this time notify state 
it will allow us it will allow us to uh, have control over the character a little bit faster uh, while the animation is still blending out. I usually set it on last ten percent animation. Okay, and from forty to sixty percent, let's set uh, input buffer. Okay, and uh, when the buffer ends, our state will be reset. And also, if we press a key uh, within this uh, window, uh, at the end, uh, the action will be performed based on that key. So, for example, if we press another attack uh, within this state, it will be automatically performed when it ends. So, it gives uh, a little bit smoother control over the character. Let's also set uh, hitbox so we will be able to attack our enemy okay and I already uh, set up the second montage so you don't have to watch it it's basically the same and now we need to go to dynamic combat system uh, general and in data tables there is combat character data table and there are all animations uh, used by this player so here we have heavy attacks and I want to replace them with the new, new one we created so let's just select them and replace and you could add as many attacks as you want but uh, in this case I just want to have two ok let's save it and let's test it if we can attack our enemy ok so as you can see new attacks are uh, working fine uh, by default there is only one uh, roll animation in this pack uh, so even if we are moving back or left or right we're still playing this one animation but if you have different animations like for example here I have rolling back left and right I will show you how to use them so first of all uh, we need to enable root motion on all of them Okay, and now let's create an montage from this one. Okay, change slot to full body. And just like in attack, let's add notify ignore root motion at the beginning. Uh, with scale value to 1. And optionally, we can add notify state ignore root motion at the end. Uh, same as previously to 10%. Okay, and from 50% to 70 I will set input buffer ok and also from 10 to 50 I will add toggle immortality state it means that within this window uh, character will be immortal ok and now all we have to do is go to data table and by default there is only roll forward row so what we need to do is add 3 new ok and uh, let's select roll left roll right and roll backward uh, there are also backward left right and forward left and right but I don't have those animations so I won't be using them and it's important to call the row the same as enum value so in this case roll left here roll right And here all backward. Okay, now let's select our new animations. And so I have roll backward and already prepared uh, left and right. They are they are the same as the previous one. Okay, and now when I'm uh, when I have targeting enabled and I'm moving backward, left, and right, I'm playing new animations. And when I'm moving diagonally, I will play a roll forward animation. Okay, now let me show you how to set up uh, get hit animations. So here I have damage front and damage back animations from different packs. 
So first of all, I will enable root motion on this one and create root, create uh, any montage. Okay, with uh, slot full body. Okay, and let it let this one uh, last for one second. Okay, and it's, uh, it's important to not use input buffer on uh, stun animations. So in this case. On 70%, let's use uh, Notify Reset Combat. Okay, and that's all we have to do here. Uh, I already have Damage Pack, and it is actually the same. On 70%, there is Reset. Okay, so we can go back to Data Table, and in here we need to add row with N value uh, Stone Pack. Call it call the row the same. Okay, and add animation. And there is already uh, stone front, so we just have to replace it. Okay, and now when we get hit. Uh, we are playing new animations. And you could set it also for a left and right. Okay, now I will show you how to uh, replace locomotion, blend space, and guarding game offset. So here I have animations from pack Sword and Shield by Kubold. And this blend space is very easy to set up, just idle state here. Uh, walking and running. Okay, there is horizontal axis direction and vertical cold speed. Okay, now let's create uh, a offset 1D. It will be uh, used for guard. Okay, let's call it new guard. And I have two poses here when the shield is down and it's up. So what we need to do is set additive anim type to mesh space, uh, use animation frame, and as animation reference, let's use idle animation. Okay, and do the same for uh, shield down. Okay, and now what we need to do is open this IM offset and use. Uh, those two poses. So let's set it one here and one here. But it's, Im it's important to set a minimum axis value to zero and a maximum to one. Okay, let's set number of grids to one, maybe call it card. Okay, now in Dynamic Combat System Player, uh, there is animation blueprint. Okay, and let's go to default, idle run, and there are uh, blend space and aim offset um, provided by me. So to replace them, let's use new base here. and new aim offset. Okay. And I'll, now let's see if it, if it works. So as you can see, uh, new animations are working. Uh, when I press uh, right mouse button, the shield is up. Okay, and I can still attack my enemy. Okay, and I think those are the most important informations needed to modify and implement this system. I didn't go through everything because it's more precisely described in documentation. So thanks for watching.